Hi guys, today I'm here to do the Rapid Fire Book Tag. This was created by Kate over at Girl Reading. I absolutely love Kate's channel and I was really excited when she did this tag. I wasn't actually tagged, but I really wanted to do this tag so I figured I could just do it anyway. As you can see, I'm in a different location. I just got really tired of the little cramped corner where my bookshelf was, and I don't intend on just doing book videos. I also do movies and music videos, and I plan on doing a lot of different videos, so I figured I'd just have a blank background. Ebook or physical book? I would definitely choose physical book. I do like my e-reader. I think it's a lot lighter to read with, but I'll always prefer a physical book. Paperback or hardback? I used to only like hardback editions. I thought they were prettier, but recently I've just preferred paperback. Online or in-store book shopping? Definitely in-store. I usually don't buy a lot of books online. I know it's a lot cheaper, but I don't usually have books that I have in mind that I want to buy, so I really just like walking through bookstores and finding books that I want. Trilogies or series? I guess I would say trilogies just because I don't really like books to drag on. Heroes or villains? I would definitely choose villains because I think heroes are just really boring, and I've always had a thing for the villains. A book you want everyone to read? Um, I would probably go with A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. That's my favorite book, so I recommend it to everyone. I don't think it is for everyone, but I would probably recommend it to everyone to read. Recommend an underrated book. This one's really hard because I usually just read a lot of classics and they're usually well known, but maybe Glaciers from Alexis M. Smith. I love that book and I mention it a lot, and it's just a really fun, quick story. The last book you finished. Actually, that's sitting right here. It's A Room with a View by Ian e. Forster. I just finished this last night and I absolutely loved it. The last book you bought. That one I actually really can't answer because I have a bag full of books right here that I just bought from the library, so you'll have to wait and see my July haul for that. The weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. I'm pretty rigid with using a bookmark. I like to match my bookmarks with all of my books, but if I happen to lose my bookmark while I'm reading, I'll probably just put my foot in the book to hold my place while I dig for my bookmark. Used books, yes or no? I would definitely have to say yes, I absolutely love used books. I actually prefer them. Top three favorite genres. Um, definitely classics, that's my favorite genre. Um, I also like memoirs and, and I guess fantasy. I like a few fantasy books. Borrow or buy? I really do like the library, but I hate when I have a book and it has like a booger in it or mustard smeared all over it. It really grosses me out, so probably buy. Characters or plot? Um, I'd probably say plot. I know I read a lot of books that people say that the characters never developed in it, and I just really didn't realize it. I just really prefer the plot. I don't really care if characters develop or not, apparently. Long or short books? Definitely short books. Long books really discourage me, and I don't feel like I can ever get through them. I have read quite a few long books, but I would always prefer short books. Long or short chapters? Definitely short again on this one. I feel like I can read a lot more if I see that a chapter is like one to two pages. If it's like 20 pages for a chapter, I get really discouraged and I just really put it down. Name the first three books that you can think of. Um, I'm going to try and not look around my room because I'm actually surrounded by books right now. Cinder, Scarlet, and Crest. Those are just the first three that popped into my head. They're my all-time favorite series. Books that make you laugh or cry? For laughing, I would go with Jenny Lawson's first book. I don't know why I can't think of what that's called right now. For crying, it would probably be The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. I have it sitting right over here. I remember crying in that one. That one was definitely sad. And actually, they're making that into a movie. So I'll probably have to go and see that, and I will probably cry. Our World or Fictional Worlds? Definitely going with fictional on this one because our world absolutely sucks. I just think that it has turned into an evil world, and I definitely want to be in a different world. Audiobooks, yes or no? Definitely a yes on this one. I absolutely love listening to audiobooks. I work alone, so I can actually listen to audiobooks when I'm working and when I'm driving, so I really get through a lot of audiobooks. I absolutely love them. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? I would definitely say yes on this one. I mean, it's really hard not to. If it's a really ugly cover, I probably won't pick it up to see what it is, and if it's a really pretty cover, I will definitely pick it up. So definitely a yes on this one. Book to movie or book to TV adaptation? Probably book to movies because, as I said earlier, I don't like things to drag on, and I think with the TV show, it really drags on. A movie or TV show that you prefer the book? Um, that would probably be Lord of the Rings. I haven't actually read The Lord of the Rings. I've started the first one, and I'm about halfway through it, and just really not liking it as much as I love the movies. I'm absolutely obsessed with the movies. And the last question is series or standalone, and that would definitely be standalone. I really don't like series. Again, if it just drags on too long, I don't care about the characters anymore, but definitely stand alone. Alright, that was really fun to film. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave Kate's channel link down below. Please go subscribe to her if you're not, because she's just a really great booktuber. Does it look like my head is floating here?
Is it too much white here going on? I don't know. 